the coin flip, the best of one matchup, the always wondering do they have Maxi, Ash Blossom called by the grave. Every ladder climber faces a duel, not just with other players, but with fate itself. And in this series, when fate calls, I will answer. Starting week one with a fresh account, every two weeks I'll open ten master packs, binding my fate to the first secret pack I unlock. For the next two weeks, I can only craft from or open that one secret pack. With only those cards and my solo mode freebies in my arsenal, I must climb the master duel ladder to the coveted master rank. And failure has consequences. Every time I lose, fate will choose a random set of cards from my deck to delete. With an unknown road ahead and doom close behind, I will rise to meet my master duel destiny. Welcome back, kings, queens, monarchs of every element, to Master Duel Destiny, the series where the only thing you can rely on is that I will always make up the rules as I go. To that end, I had a fantastic time last episode with the Endymion cards. They were incredibly difficult to play, incredibly fun to play, and incredibly successful. But I feel like I didn't lose in. So, I am going to change the rules on myself again. I'm going to bring back the potential for losing multiple cards. I'm going to make it a little bit harder just because if I'm going to be dueling a lot, I don't want to be hitting threes over and over and over again. But I always want that potential in the back of my mind that I could get absolutely devastated by the wheel. The generator number thing. I'm also going back to where the shop should have been in terms of destiny dollars spent for wild cards. I want to use some of the more off the wall things that are higher dollar things. So I'm going to retroactively make it more expensive for me to get ultra rares, wild card ultra rares from outside of the pack. I'm boosting that up to 10. That's going to cost me another five destiny dollars, which I think having done the calculations because I got it wrong the last episode, brings me back down to six. And I'm also going to make N's and R's both worth two Destiny dollars, bringing me back to two for the two that I spent them on last time. Um, I like this. I think that I should be spending Destiny dollars on cards, but I don't think it should be that easy. That being said, this is going to be a moot point for a while because I have zero UR dust now. I built myself a, as perfect an Endymion deck as I can get in this series. Now I wish to destroy it. Which makes it perfect that this is the beginning of a new cycle. We have 10 master packs to open. Let's see what we get stuck with. I have a lot of gems to spend today, folks. Many, many. All right. And while I'm at it, I do want to solidify. I like having the last pack be the determiner. I got a couple of comments where people were like, hey, you realize that you always get a hollow in the last pack, so it's always going to be the last pack, so you know which pack it's going to be. And to them I say, if it's the first one that I get, I know which pack I'm getting it out of anyway, because it does this thing, you know, the thing where it shows you all the packs and shows you which ones are hollows. And I can tell the first hollow is going to be the one, unless that hollow doesn't open a secret pack, which is the same as if it's the last one. So I like the suspense and I'm going to keep it. This is my series and you are stuck with me making up the rules as I go. 1,000 gems down the drain. Wow. That is a lot of hollow. See, I would have known from the first pack. All right. What do we got? Two off the top. Evil Eye of Selene and Duoterion. Duoterion is an interesting dino card, but... We don't really have anything to do with it. I think this is the second Evil Eye card I've gotten, and just a few really interesting cards on the other half of the pack. We've got Thunder Dragon Duo. This is just a Chaos monster, so anything Chaos we end up running, I will run this in. Uh, we've also got Felis, which is going to be great to mill, as has been demonstrated by every Light Sworn opponent I've taken on in this series. Also, the Prime Monarch is just a trap monster if I have a bunch of Monarch spells and traps. Hey, but I got Magician's Rod, so if I get a Dark Magician, uh, we're in we're in pretty good shape. I also like Adamancipator Friends. Oh, this is very good if I get any number of rock monsters. Next pack. And you are. 
Big money, big money. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Lady Labyrinth. You don't say. This is the second random Labyrinth Hollow I've gotten out of my Master Packs. Also, Empowerment is a really good field spell and anything that does rank or stuff, as long as we can find a single Empowered Warrior monster. Also, shout out to Dark Paladin. I can almost make this card. All right. A super rare. Or two? I hope, I hope I'm not using up all of my hollow luck here. Now that I am out of UR dust, I am a little bit dependent on my pulls again. Uh, the pull rates of cards actually matter to me again now. Yeah. Oh, Silent Wolf Kalupo. Well, Rain Digger's Trap Hole is really good, um, and Odd Eyes Persona Dragon is phenomenal. We can search this off of our Sky Iris, and it is a genuinely good card. A one scale for my Endymion strat. That's just good stuff. Also, this is... This is my second amazing time ticket. What are the odds? Oh, hey, and Junk Forward's a good card. This is a wild pack. All right, finally we can rest. I spoke too soon. Yeah. Oh, hey, a DD card. Oh, a bottomless trap hole. And a Numeron piece. Check out that bottomless. That's kind of hot. Also, a million I challenge you references in this pack. Yeah. <laughs> Shining piece of Ilia. This is our second Jin Ixies monster? fascinating stuff and invoked raijin is really cool if we get any access to invoked yeah miracle fuse avn and assault mode activate just rubbing it in why oh, don't you uh spring and Spranga is really cool getting the spring in this pack would be amazing also another morphtronic card i'm getting themes today Another intimidating or summonite. I don't need it. I don't want it. This isn't Master Duel Masochus. Get out of here with your Naturias. What weird nonsense we're acquiring today. Although with Call of the Haunted gone, maybe we're going to be stuck with this one. Also the Seal of Ori Calcos. Shout out to that one sealed showdown episode. All right, we're getting down to the last few packs, which means any of these hollows could spell my secret pack. Chaos Phantasm. Oh, hey, look, another Valence. I don't know if we can use this, but it feels like we're close to being able to. Nine out of 10, no. I was about to say no full. I was about to say no hollow in this pack. God, this doesn't bode well for the rest of our packs today. Her? Uh huh? Uh huh? <laughs> That's about the best generic you are I could have pulled. Nightmare Unicorn is spectacular, and we even got the alt art. Ah, eating good today. And now for the last pack. It contains a hollow. A UR, even. It's going to be the last card. It could come down to our very last card today. Bonding DH. We can search this off of Duotarian. Dark City. Uh, more hero cards. Is it just that there are more hero cards than any other archetype? Is that why I'm pulling so many? Hey, a Performer Pal. Blackbird Closed Fiend Griefing is solid. I have never read these cards. That's not true. I played Duel Links. I don't remember what any of these cards do. What was the walking MST y'all pointed out? Oh, DDD Orthro. Oh, it's gotta be one other card you control. 
darn. Sona Dragon individually is like game changing for us. Like this is just an extra deck negate. It's a scale one level five extra deck negate. It's insane. Oh, this is an odd eyes card too. This card is less good than Persona Dragon. That's enough gushing over my master pack pulls. It's time for us to go into tournament athletes. Sports, 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 sports. All right, here goes. 10 packs of sports. Okay. All right. I was worried about my hollow pulls, but uh, maybe I don't have to worry so much. Are you kidding me? I have to go through the... Jesus, I hadn't even looked at this pack yet. I was looking at chat saying I have to go through solo mode. All right, let's see what we got. Card Troopers, interesting. All right, we have two of the Grand Prix. I know that we need like two of each of them in order for the deck to work. What's outside of the pack? Artifact Durandal is not bad. Inside the pack, number one, UA Locker Room. I have never read this card in my life very weird this is a very strange card it's like kind of pot of avarice ua playmaker at ultra rare this card's bad oh it's inside the pack what do we got mermaid shark's kind of cool oh chama yellow f a turbo charger i've never heard of that one which is usually a bad sign ua powered jersey is very good in low tier play and FA Pit Stop, that's a very important card if I remember correctly, reduces a U or an FA by two and then draws cards. It basically draws draws you one and then draws you two and then draws you three. FA Motorhome Transport, this is a very important card. This is the boss monster of the FA deck. Love to see this card. Another UR. Altergeist card. FA Dead Heat. This is a crucial card for the deck, if I remember correctly. When your opponent's monster declares a direct attack, this is sounding less and less good by the second. It's special an FA from your deck. Okay. You can only use it once per turn, once per battle. If your FA battles an opponent's monster before damage calculation, you can have both players roll a six sided die. If your result is higher, increase it. This card is. This card is terrible. This is a bad card. UA Rival Rebounder. Is this one at least decent? Oh, it's kind of a it's kind of a Monta Wolf Bark Monster Reborn type. Okay. Signing deal is good. Signing deal is crucial. I think we want to see three of that card. And FA Dawn Dragster. I say no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Majestic Star Dragon. FA Downforce. Perfect Ace. That's another negate. Lost Time. I have never read this card in my life. This card's terrible. This is like kind of rush recklessly twice. It's like skill successor, but like bad. All right. And a perfect ace. We got we got baited. Actually, two perfect ace is probably worth an SR. Let's be real. Yeah. Drag art. I think this is my second drag art. Interesting. That's definitely my second sling in. Another down force. Whip crosser. This is the card that destroyed dual links, if I remember correctly. There's a second signing deal. There's a third signing deal. All right. I need the level four. I need the level four of either archetype. Avenging Knight Parshath's a cool level 8. Okay. Rival Rebounder. Stadium is crucial. Player Manager. Now there's a useful UR. Alright, we do actually kind of need the NRs. Leg! Stacker Viver's a great Cybers card. Consolation prize, a uh, fourth signing deal. Okay, there's a test run. This card's actually kind of okay. It's like a bad battle fader. 
another perfect ace. So that's our third one. Goalkeeper is kind of cute. Consolation prize? Hang on, Mock. This is the crucial one. This one is the Macro Cosmos. Definitely want three of that card. Yeah. Um, we probably didn't need three, four perfect ace or three goalkeeper. Uh, huge revolution is over is funny, but too situational. Uh, also yet another zombie card. Very good generic zombie card. Not very good necessarily. I haven't read this card, but zombie cards generically are good. You know, I was kind of doomsaying about these pulls. I would say that for this set, they are all right. I have to temper that phrase with for this set because we are on UAFF. Yeah. A second Shining Star GT. That is not the UR we needed. Uh, okay, um, time for me to figure out what these do and then probably play Pendulum again. Oh, God damn it. I just realized that I forgot to do a bundle again. I was thinking about this too. I I spent like the last two weeks being like, this next time I'm gonna remember to do a bundle. And I forgot to do a bundle again. It just won't come up. We simply won't use an Ash Blossom. God imagine if we had Ash Blossom and Effect Veiler this episode. Anyway, with that despair aside, here's the deck we're playing this week. I have found a constructed level Endymion deck. There are a couple of things that it doesn't do super well, but what it does well is incredible. And I think, I think we are going to supplement it with a copy of Odd Eye's Persona Dragon. That gives us an extra monster negate on top of our Jackal King. I'm just not sure what I'm going to replace with it. It feels like it's got to be a mythical beast. Hmm. Is the trap card useful? I'm going to be so real. I have yet to resolve the trap card. I always mill it. We're not running a single trap card in this deck. It's all pens and spells, baby. We don't need any back row base disruption. We are going to lose to literally anything that negates monster effects. Let's save it. Let's get into the duels. All right. Let's get in here i cannot wait to play this deck and lose to the time counter i always get so close to losing to the time counter we're up against ash blossom mate and we are going first oh you bet we are going first if i can set up my beautiful negate board i'm going to be the happiest camper alive what are we starting off with if a very nice field I'm going to be so real. This is the worst hand I have ever seen in any deck ever. The one negate board. Now, the danger of this deck is that it does require... Oh, we got dusted! Folks, it was never meant to be. Yo, I can astrograph off this? I might have to. TBH. We can... Electromite for it later. What is this? We're up against Dark Lords. Isn't the big Dark Lord like unbeatable? I mean, it doesn't matter. I can take my hands off the keyboard for now. If I draw into a Cerberus, all is forgiven. Now see, the thing is here, I can get Jackal King off of this, right? This is okay. This is okay. Let's summon. Ash Blossom. No! <laughs> yeah, I should have known this would happen. Whatever. It's an astrograph to attack. Get in there. This is my life in Master Duel Destiny. I'm either playing against, like, a person who it's their first their first Master Duel game ever, or I'm playing against somebody who wanted to play like the worst archetype of all time, but their deck is constructed quality, and so I lose. I'm really digging, I will say, you can't see this because of where Chad is, uh, I'm really digging 
the Magical Hats Graveyard. The Magical Hats Graveyard goes hard. What did they add? Morningstar? I... I... I what? <laughs> General Lucifer himself could not stand to the power of a single astrograph magician. In case you didn't know, I spent the last week grinding solo mode in order to learn how to play this deck, and boy oh boy, are we about to open some legacy packs. First, our missions. 250 gems, let's go. I'm gonna be real, folks, I'm just gonna skip to this. I do not have time to open two cards at a time. Let's open this. What do we got? Master Key Beetle! Traffic Ghost is hilarious as our you are. Wonderful. Esper Girl's kind of a cool uh psychic. But uh Master Key Beetle's just a sick SR. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh also Linker Bell's very funny. Also, yet another I challenge you reference. Alright, these ones I will open two at a time. We only have eight of them. Like I said, I make the rules of this series up as I go. Yeah. Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx. This card is actually not the worst card on Earth. It's not the best card on Earth by any stretch of the imagination. Pretty okay. Destruction Dragon. If I get Fang of Critias, I can summon this guy. And this spark. Judgment of the Desert. Golden Rat. This card's off. Sphinx to Leia, okay. No. Mm -mm. Nope. What's with all the SRs I've been getting out of this pack? Yo, is that a DDD card? This card's Garbanzo, unless they have defense position monsters. But hey, it's a pen card. Yeah. Summon Cloud. Oh, yo, Memory of an Adversary. We now have three copies of this card for when we morg it. <laughs> okay, well, that was interesting. I do want to point out, I wish there were more cards that were designed like Summon Cloud. Summon Cloud is a really cool card because it is modular in where it can summon from, but it has, like, a downside to one of its summons. I think it would be really cool if there were, like, a card that had an upside to summoning from hand and no, nothing like it's neutral to summon from graveyard and a downside to summon from deck. I think that would be kind of sick. Well, that was wild. Let's duel. Silver tool. Let's see if we can get a playable hand. Although maybe I shouldn't ask for a playable hand because last time I got a bad hand, I won. Oh, I love the Kage to Kage. Oh, that's the best mate I've ever seen. We're going to try going first again. Surely we won't brick that hard this time. All right, what do we got? Mm. Magical Abductor with Spell Power Mastery in hand is not terrible. They have Max C. I, I know, I know a hand that has Max C when I see it. Um, let's actually take this opportunity to search for Jackal. Baby Jackal? Do I want to search for Baby Jackal? I can normal summon it and then I'll have the ability to pend later. Let's activate Magical Abductor. Let's see what we get if we activate Magical Abductor. Nothing for Magical Abductor. Okay. That's fine. Let's go... Let's grab Baby Jackal. Yeah? 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 Yeah. Then I'm gonna normal summon Baby Jackal. Gonna... Oh, that's so dumb. I don't have that. No, I do. It'll be fine. It'll be It'll be fine, folks. It'll be fine. Let's go spell power grasp. I'm going to put the counter on servant. What do we got? Nothing? Okay. And I'll add spell power grasp. And now I'm realizing I should have put the counter on the jackal because I want to mythical bestiary the servant. <laughs> Actually, no, this is fine. The jackal, the jackal will do. 
Um, there's the ash. Ooh, that's pretty bad. Oh, that's actually as bad as it gets. Oh, never mind. I can still go for Jackal. Okay. That is fine. It isn't as bad as it gets. It's just very not good. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for Jackal. A Jackal! Jackal! It's a Jackal! It looks like a Jackal! 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 It's a Jackal! Jackal! Right. And then we set Spell Power Grasp and Bastard. <laughs> okay. We got to find the choke point in this combo. Hello, Balex. This destroys, right? I feel like this is the chance. Or are we being baited? The Salaman Great Sanctuary is very good. Because if they have Gazelle in hand, it doesn't really matter if we negate Phalanx. Yeah, let's wait for the Gazelle. Okay, discard Fox C. There's the Gazelle. And we're going to Jackal King this. The mirror. Interesting. Okay. So they basically got the gazelle anyway. You're getting the on field effect? As an on field effect? This is why I get for not knowing shit. Aha, you fool. You have activated a spell card. Have they normal summoned this turn? I don't think they've normal summoned this turn. No, they normal summoned the first guy, right? Hey, we get our magical abductor counters back. I do kind of like this deck because even when I'm losing, I feel like I'm getting something. Right? Like, I'm objectively losing the game right now. I know I've seen these cards before. I have no idea what they do. And I don't have the luxury of time while playing a Pendulum deck to figure it out. It's true. Up until right now, I was winning in card advantage. So who's the real winner? Ah, oh, hell yeah. 500 attack. And we've got a spinny engrave. We now have a Link 4's worth of material. Oh, boo. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. Probably? Oh, yeah, this is transcode update jammer, isn't it? No! God damn it. Oh, there it is. I take solace in the knowledge that I probably couldn't do anything about this. I mean, I'm not technically dead, probably. Aha, you fool. You destroyed my spell power grasp. You only have to banish one more in order to end the game for me. But you did... They decided to, to get rid of everything, didn't they? Yeah, for sure. For, for sure, dog. It can attack twice. Oh. Oh, yeah, because it used update jam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. We're using a classic wheel spinner this time. Let us spin the wheel of death. I feel like the colors are too bright on this. Can we change the colors? Oh, the wheel of death shall be a nice earth tone. That is very loud. Two! Jesus! <laughs> I am losing two. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, here goes. I don't even know what number doesn't t entirely fuck me up, right? Because I can no longer craft from the pendulum pack. I genuinely don't know what I roll here that doesn't destroy me. 
Round one, 34. That's in my last line of cards. Oh, that's a good line of cards. All right. Show me 34. One, two, three, four. Not a Cerberus. Oh, not a Cerberus. Not like this. Not like this. So I just realized in post that I'm bad at math and Mythical Beast Master Cerberus is not in fact card number 34 in that deck. It is card number 24 and card number 34 is a common. 27. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we just got it. Wait, I'm on the wrong line. Oh, it's a spell power grasp. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That was 17. Okay. Um, our combo just got considerably less consistent. At the Kaiser Coliseum, not a terrible idea for going to be ending on boards like that. Just jackal Kaiser Coliseum. <laughs> Yo, so I actually have a terrible idea. Toss in a ring of destruction. Unfortunately, the remainder of our penned cards are bad. It's true, Ring of Destruction would have beat the access code talker. The deck looks okay. It's drawn to a hand that doesn't lose to a single Ash Blossom. Okay. I can work with this. We do officially have a deck that doesn't lose to a single Ash Blossom. It is not lost on me that we got our first... Cerberus in the open after we had to dust a Cerberus. All right, set up acro. We're against Thunder Dragon. Whole deck, this, this deck poses me. What is this? Okay, maybe, maybe I spoke too soon about being hosed. What's going on here? Oh, it also just occurred to me that they only Thunder Dragon for one. Are we up against a Masochist? No! <laughs> I mean, that's not the worst thing here, right? Because Serb... Serb can still add the Little Jackal. The little Jackal's still pretty solid. Watch me get waking the dragon. What is that? Goaty Cosmos. It's gotta be a masochist. It's gotta be like a weak one masochist. Uh, let's Jackal King. Now this doesn't get us a monster negate. But it does get us Pendimian, and Pendimian is like almost as good. Yo, I can Tribute Summon Sloth here. Is Tribute Summon Sloth an OTK? Do I get greedy? Yeah, I'm gonna get greedy. Like, worst case scenario, I can Endymion bounce Endymion. And that's like a bad case scenario, but... It's as worst case scenarios go. It all worked out. Okay. I will take another destiny dollar that puts us up to four by my calculation. And really, who else is counting? Besides all of you. But your opinions don't matter to me. Hey, one of them's maybe an SR. Maybe just a glossy rare. What has been my hollow luck this episode? 
this this has been my hollow luck this episode yo yo this is one of those spirit pendulum monsters this one's genuinely not bad pendulum area the chances that we can resolve this card are very low in our current lineup but i'm not sad to see it wow that was a pack specifically directed at me put in the spirit yeah that's what i like to see that's a real deck shouldn't we also put in nightmare unicorn that sounds like some woke mind virus nonsense i would never do such a thing as put in one of the best cards that i have What are we taking out? This card's bad. All right, we're taking that one out. Unicorn's gonna get morked. True! Fortunately, I won't get morked. It'll just get dusted. Sand sucks. It looks like it's Jackal King Pass. Let's go. Let's stare at our hand for a while. So that it feels to them like we're really pondering our pendulum plays and see if they surrender because they don't want to play against pendulum. All right. Let's scale up our shiny abductor. Because it's shiny right that's gonna make it seem like we've got something uh -huh. keep considering play the mind games put that pressure on them they don't want to play against a pen deck I don't want to play against a pen deck so hilariously I can pen summon in this hand We technically have two disruptions. Oh, because we have Garuda. That's true. Gotta remember that Garuda. I did not realize that this sends for cost. They have Ash. I am fucked. No! <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's, it's fine. Um... I can pend, and I can get Electromite. Oh, pend summon Abductor. Oh, that's smart, because then I can generate counters for Garuda. It's brilliant. Okay, I like the way you think. We just pass, right? We pass, we hope the spell counters for Garuda are good enough. We'd need them to activate two spell cards. That's just two spell cards. Why not normal summon the other card? Uh, I'd already normal summoned and also Garuda is best as a hand trap. You're telling me. You're telling me. Oh, Jesus, that's the best card in our deck. That is unbelievably good. We obviously lead Mythical Bestiary here. Let's try to do Electromite things. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. I lose out on the hand trap, but I potentially gain much more. Because even garuda a blue eyes once isn't going to help me out, right? I can get a high scale, and that is crucial. What's the high scale I'm going to get? I pretty much have one high scale. Besides Unicorn. It's a pretty decent high scale for specifically the situation we're in. <gasps> that 
that's the best draw I could have got. Let's go. I'm gonna go abductor from extra. We're just gonna bend three. Oh shit, I could have gotten both of them. I'm such a dumbass. I keep forgetting that I can get like multiple cards from my extra deck when I pen summon. I can just do that. Like it's a thing I'm allowed to do. Now I can negate ultimate fusion. Can this negate effects? Uh, yes. Yes, it can. Okay, we win the game. Uh, we have to go for decode. All right. Battle, 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 we are back up. We are back up to five destiny dollars. Let's go. Oh, that was rough. God, it, the top deck Jackal King was unbelievable up to silver one. But for now, we just get legacy packs. We got a monarch. Any? Cree born. I thought that was going to be a, a royal for a second. Handcuffs Dragon. Shout out to Junior Journey, where this was briefly a tier one card. Also, Ill Witch. Yeah, she, she does look ill. This monster blasts enemies with unexpected bursts of wind. So she's sick, right? Bursts of wind are unexpected. She farting in people's faces? Is that what's going on here? Fascinating. Never seen a better hand in my life. Hilariously, this does get Pendimion onto the board. Branded. I'm up against Brand. Doesn't this field still lose to Raigeki? Oh. Well, that's cracked. Uh, let's just scale it. Let's just scale it. What happens? What happens if we do this? No triggers. Um, spell power master? Five minutes later. bizarre hand. What if we started by normal summoning a Magical Abductor? Because Magical Abductor can also add Little Jackal. So we'll scale up another Magical Abductor. Scale up or activate Institution. Okay. Oh, we can get, we can get little Pendimion. What does that do for us? Ah, oh, unfortunately, we're like really close to doing everything. But as is, we can't do anything. Uh, let's scale up. Let's scale up. See what we can get. Oh, that actually works great. Yeah. God, if I had effect veiler, I could search for it here. But again, I forgot to get a bundle. Yeah. It's unfortunate. It feels like I'm very close to being able to do a thing. And if I could search, if I could search for Effect Veiler off of Abductor, I'd be in very good shape. 
We're going Rota. What are we Rota for? <laughs> Photon Jumper. Oh, thanks for the counters. Galaxy Soldier. Okay. Um, let's not Garuda here. I want to see. I want to see them put an Xyz monster on the board before I Garuda. We gotta see something bigger than this before we commit. This is the one that brings non-targeting. Yeah. So we're gonna have to Garuda it. Let's take them off of Abductor. We'll leave the abductor with some attack points. So I'm less likely to get OTKs. Yeah! We've done it! And they had Afterglow in their hand. Is there a reason why they decided not to go into a rank 8? Other than Salt? Like, I don't feel like we deserved that win. I'll take it. Oh, that's a seventh destiny dollar in the bank. Means we might be able to go shopping next episode. There it is! Gold five! Got our rank up again! God, Endymion to the moon, what can I say? Destiny signal. Summon over. This is the world's worst Nibiru. Quagar, Hercules, let's go. This is one of those really cool old fusions that does absolutely nothing. Dark Triceratops rampaging Rhinos. This guy gains 500 attack when attacking into the same column. He's so good. <laughs> Ooh, what a feel. Well, I suppose asking you shall receive, we can. Oh no, we opened both spell power grasps. So the good news is I can tend to summon Pandemian this turn. Pend out Pandemian. Yeah, one negate. <laughs> Alright, here's my plan. I'm gonna spell power grasp. They don't need to know that I drew the second one. They will know that I drew the second one, but they don't need to know. We're gonna put the counter on Pendimian, since that'll give me a counter on all three. And then we will pass. Magician's Souls. Okay, well, a Dark Magician ain't anything. The only thing we really need to worry about for them is their circle, right? Kaiser Coliseum would go hard here. That's true. Super Poly. No, you can't do that to me. Oh, literally any other card. Literally any any other spell card and I would have been fine. Why did it have to be super poly? And it just takes a spellcaster monster. Oh. Well, I'm guessing they don't have circle. <sighs> there is so an electromite play here. I don't know what it is, but it's there. Uh, yeah, let's pen summon. Let's just pen out Pendimian. Just put it on the board. Just go battles. Oh, you are my favorite person. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, what do we put back? Let's put back Magister. 
Luego un metro. <laughs> oh, that doesn't do the thing. Unfortunate. But we can bounce main phase too. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. This is fine. Forgot that that guy can't be targeted. Oh, maybe you can. Back to the extra deck with you. Oh shit, that was a spell card effect. <laughs> Whatever. We've got a dude. Um... Maybe I should have put back Reflection so I had a search. Uh, main 2 is still where we're at. I feel like we hold Spell Power Grasp gets us closer to being able to do our thing again. Yeah, let's pass. Let's hold. We're good. Second Super Poly absolutely devastates us. I will not lie. But they haven't really demonstrated that they have much that they can do. Fusion deployment. What is this summon? Dark Magician girl, let's go. Dark Magician still isn't a threat to me. I feel like they have to do a lot more before I care. Illusion of Chaos, okay. Rod, okay. There's a rod. Is that the card? Is that the board wipe? That's fine. I feel like we're working really hard to bait Endymion here. Mahad. Oh fuck, Mahad just straight up beats me. Yeah, let's negate that. Because we can't, we can't beat Mahad. Skill Drain. Oh no. Fortunately, <laughs> they still have a card that just beats Pendimian. Oh, that's a card that beats Pendimian. And to think, perhaps I needed to negate that fusion deployment. I don't get it. Quintet Magician. A negated Quintet Magician. This is... So this deals with just Pendimian. Let's see if they noticed the battle effect. They did not notice the battle effect. Wait. Oh, it didn't have a spell counter. What does this do for us? Literally nothing. What are they going to do if we just keep pen to summon? <laughs> Raigeki? Raigeki's an out. I still have Raigeki. Well, let's make them find a fusion spell. Shall we? Yeah, dog. Actually, our other out is probably Garuda. How big is Endymion's ass? 17. Let's pen. If I get Raigeki, we win the game. We just have to believe. God, skill drain is such nonsense against me specifically. Oh! I meant Dingo. I could have spell power grasped. Damn, I could have made Raigeki searchable. If I had Spell Power Grasp the Endymion. I can't Spell Power Grasp Endymion? Why can't I Spell Power Grasp Endymion? It cannot hold spell counters under Skill Drain. How is that an effect? That is the most dumb bullshit I have ever heard. Reprentice Illusion Magicianing the Pendymion. Yeah. This is fine, because we can pend. Oh, maybe I should have held on to the Odd Eyes. Come on, Raigeki. 
God, Cerberus would be so good. But it's not going to do it for us, and there's no way for us to get both Servant. Uh, hold up. Spell Power Grasp gives two to Little Endymion, or to Servant, one to Magister. Uh, so first things first, we've got a pen. I think we penned a servant because it's got the bigger ass. Awkwardly. Okay. No, I'm not going to bother. And then we spell power grasp. Servant. Okay. We activate servant. What do we get out of the deck? What we get out of the deck is literally anything. It's probably an eight scale, honestly. We probably don't want to get Magister. And then we have Serb. Serb doesn't get us there necessarily. But it gets us to Garuda. If we can trigger Magister, we can get... Garuda. We've got Decode Talker, who can get kind of big, but not big enough for Quintet. So I think the goal is to find a way to summon Serb after destroying Skill Drain. Because Serb can out Quintet. Either that or bounce back Reflection so that we can Reflection Quintet. A win con here is dependent on either Garuda or Rygek. That's hilarious. Um, but I'm not going to do it. Please take out Reflection. Oh, I'm a dingo. You know what I just realized? Scaling Serb gives us the materials that we need for Serb. For Garuda. But it still doesn't give us our out for Quintet Magician which is the thing that we really, really need. Oh, you know what outs Quintet Magician? <laughs> Nightmare Unicorn. Ring of Destruction is hilarious. Okay, Nightmare Unicorn actually gets us there. So what we're going to do, I think, is we flip summon Unicorn. And we use the zones that we can get from Electromite to go into Unicorn, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what we gotta do. Gotta scale up. We go... Oh, this is tough. Electromite. Because we want to be pending this turn. This card isn't randomly in the gate, right? Uh, no, we won't use this. Then let's pend. Uh, we pend for just reflection. Oh no, reflection was the one I, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, no, I won't activate reflection. Magister. Magister summon Pendimian. Uh, Pendimian in attack. Pendimian in attack, come on. Come on, this does it. This does it, we need to be able to do it. Pendimian, a little... Uh, 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 shit, no, we need to activate Serb. Oh, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna lose because of time. I'm gonna lose because of time. Okay. Pen skill Garuda. Activate Garuda. Uh, shit. Okay. We gotta go for Unicorn. We gotta go for Unicorn now. Oh, we won't get it. If I can just go to end phase, we're okay. We can just go to end phase, we're okay. No! Oh, God. 
actually had it, but I was destroyed by the actually happened. I actually lost in time. What a fucking tragedy. Well, let's see what happens. Come on, just give me one. Just give me one merciful loss. One merciful loss. <laughs> She took fucking <laughs> jump scared by the thing. Okay, 55. 30. A spell power mastery isn't a good loss. But it could have been worse. That's brutal. But it isn't over. We can use Destiny Dollars to get a new copy back if we want. We can add in the Pendulum area to take over for it. This deck isn't dead in the water. And next week, we can open more packs. Next week, we could have an entirely new deck on our hands. There is always next week, folks. That was a rough loss to end on. But I see the future. We got into gold today. And maybe next week I'll learn how to play at a decent speed. Bye.